Hello everybody, and today we are going to be working on uh, this, my 2004 Ford F-250. Makes a lot of clunks. It's always clanking and something going on. Uh, I pretty much narrowed it down to the uh, track bar, or the steering track bar, or the center link bar. It's called something like that. I forget the name of it. It's a bar that goes from the pitman arm down to the steering knuckle. Um, and it's got some play in it, so I'll show you the play in it, and then we're just going to uh, change this thing out. See how it goes. I think it's going to go all right. It's not going to go all right. Everything's like so rusty underneath. The rust is going to fall on my face. It's going to fall everywhere. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it because this truck, well, it just keeps going. All right, let's change the center link bar. Let's take a look at it first, then change it. All right, everybody, here's some tools to, you need to replace that center link. Big hammer, so that you can use the pickle bar, sometimes with this hammer, to get everything to pop apart. Uh, this is for my engine stand. This is a cheetah bar used with that, or that one, so that I could get the actual nuts off of where the tie rod ends are. Adjustable wrench, right there, use that for the adjusting sleeve. Some anti seize a 24 and 21 millimeter. Uh, sockets, uh, sorry, 24, three quarter for the adjusting sleeve, 21 for one of the tie rod ends, and then a little seven millimeter for the grease fittings. All right, so those are the tools that you will need. Obviously, you could do it with it or without some of these. Oh, WD-40. All right, when we get on this here, I want you to ignore lots of leaks, like this coming from my power steering line which new one but it's leaking from somewhere up with that one we'll do that never uh but it leaks everywhere so right up over here come down that link bar there now let's see i mean i can move it relatively easy but also it does move in and out if you look i don't know it's a little tough to see it should be the clunk though that's what it sounds oh, everywhere this stuff Look at this rot. But right here. And it'll move in and out a little bit. So we're gonna uh we're gonna go in and we're gonna change this. Everything else seems relatively tight, I think. But this is gonna be the first one of many. I'm sure this one is gonna get changed soon enough because I'm sure those are bad. But I'm basically gonna go through and get these first, or get this one first. And then move my way through. Ignore uh, that. That's a problem on these Fords, by the way, that the uh, track bar mount actually rots away. And because I didn't have anything around to properly weld it together, I just found some random metal and uh, borrowed a friend's welder and welded it together. So, all right, enough story time. We're going to get some WD 40 on this and start pulling it apart. I don't even see any pins in any of this stuff. Yeah, yeah you can see this boot. Look at that boot. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, I got this cheater bar on there. And so that one came right. Lines in the way. Uh, I 
think it's going. <laughs> Looks like it. Let's brace in there. Oh, come on. <sighs> One. There we go. All right. All right, so here's our old one. Uh, let's match up some new parts. So went on to Rock Auto here. We got where it connects to the pitman arm. Quick steer. Tie rod made in China. Here's the part number. Want it. So we got that. The uh, this is the tie rod end or the adjusting portion. The adjustment sleeve. Adjustment sleeve. And then the FPV, FVP, Confidence Solution. There you go. Part number. Should be the other end. And there you have it. It's all stuff. So what I'll do is I'll kind of get a measurement to get the adjusting nut same, so I don't have to go for an alignment. I guess you should, I'm not. So let's uh, get this together and about the right size. Probably should tighten one of these sides. So we'll get them about the right size. All right. Let's see where we're at. All right, so we got a little bit more to go. That's pretty close. I'm going to call it there. All right, we'll tighten these. Let's put some anti C's on this too. Ooh. Liberal, liberal amounts. This one will get mostly tight and it'll allow for a little bit of adjustment to get it in. Oh, you know what I want to put on there? Some more anti seas. Because why not? Ah, son of a bitch. Let's see what that little hole is. Man. Uh, I'll 
see it anywhere. Oh, 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 I see it. All right, comes up with both those. And then this goes in. Come on. Should just go right in. Let's try this one. There we go. And I'll bend it over in a little bit. Let's get this side on. Is that it? Oh, 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 I see it. I see it. <laughs> no? Yes? <clears throat> yes. I think that's it. And a bender rooney. I'm not sure if someone will comment about my bends. I'll show you them in a little bit. But they didn't even have them before. Didn't even have them. So this is a win in my book. There they are, all bent up. There's that one. And that one. Get our little fittings in. Ow. Just clung to my dome. And this one. All right, time to grease it up. There we go. And out it comes. Who are we going? Let's see it go. All right. That should be good. All right. Let's go for a drive. There you have it, everyone. We had just replaced the center link, which goes from the pitman arm all the way down to the steering arm by the knuckle. And that's it. All done. It actually wasn't too bad. It came off a little bit easier than I expected. Uh, the big clunk is gone. Now there's like another little one somewhere. I don't know what it is. It sounds like it's closer to the, the foot well. So I'll double check with that. But this was definitely one of them. It's gone. And that's about it. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Oh. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and if there's anything you want to see, especially with this thing or anything else, let me know down in the comments. And uh, it's hot, as usual. I always pick to do these things when it's really hot. I have no idea why someone's like beating on me. I'm done. All right, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.